Welcome back to the Rodcast, guys. I'm your host, Rod, as always. And this is going to be a follow-up to a video that I made this morning about four hours ago predicting that Eugene Carroll will win this lawsuit if the jurors look at the evidence and they're not biased in favor of Donald Trump, which was the biggest fear that there was a Trump loyalist in the jury. Turns out there was not. Or maybe even if there was, they decided to follow the evidence instead of just being loyal to Trump and voting not uh not liable for him because this is liability. This is not a criminal case, so there's no guilty or not guilty. This is about liability. And the jury here has found Trump liable and has awarded $5 million to E. Jean Carroll. So let's read a little bit about this. Then we'll jump into the jury uh, verdict form and go over it. Okay, so this is reporting coming out of CBS News. Basically, everybody's reporting the same thing, which is that Trump has lost and has been found basically civilly liable for battery and defamation. Okay, a federal jury in New York found former President Trump liable for battery and defamation in a civil trial stemming from allegations he raped the writer E. Jean Carroll back in a Bergdorf's Goodman store in 1996. Um, she was awarded $5 million in total damages. The jury made up of six men and three women. So it wasn't actually 12 people. It was a. Uh, it was actually uh, nine. Okay, so that was a. I think I I might have said twelve before because that's the regular number. It's six to twelve. That's the basic number in most juries in America. But here it was uh, six men and three women. So that's nine. Um, the jury got the case earlier Tuesday and deliberated for less than three hours. The jury's decision had to be unanimous. In closing arguments, Carol's attorneys, Robert, Roberta Kaplan, uh, reminded the jury that for the battery charge, all you need to, uh, all you need to basically find is that there's more than probable that that it's more than probable that Trump attacked Carol to find him liable, which is much lower than the uh, beyond a reasonable doubt standard applied for criminal trials, which I explained in one of my videos. And that's exactly what they found. OK, um, Trump raged on social media after being found liable, uh, saying the following. <laughs> Why am I even reading this um, on Truth Social? He said, I have absolutely no idea who this woman is. This verdict is a disgrace, a continuation of the greatest witch hunt of our time. So that's what he had to say, of course, predictable. Uh, let's now jump to the most important part, which is the verdict form, and we'll go over it. All right, so um, you know, we're going to go through every single thing that the jury had to say that they marked, uh, they checked off on, right? Uh, both the yeses and the noes we're going to go over uh, because they're both important. So a small distinction here. Mr. Carroll raped Miss Carroll. Uh, Mr. Trump, excuse me, Mr. Carroll. Mr. Trump raped Miss Carroll. This is a, these are the questions they answered. They answered no on that, but nevertheless, they did rule. They, uh, they did find that Mr. Trump sexually abused Miss Carroll. Yes. Okay. So there's a bit of a distinction here because this was essentially the claim that Carroll was making, but sexual abuse is still very close to this. Okay. It's what, what happened was a type of sexual abuse and that's what the jury found. Um, I'm sure some people would disagree with this distinction. I don't particularly have a problem. Carol was smiling in the courtroom and she, uh, I think she gave a quote or her lawyers gave a quote saying that they're very happy about the outcome as they would be. $5 million is more than what I saw they were asking for. Their estimate was like 2.7 million or something. We'll talk about what will happen with the damages here in a second, whether Trump can appeal it or not, etc. cetera. Uh, Miss Carol was injured as a result of Mr. Trump's conduct, yes, and that's why they awarded $2 million for that. Um, next, Mr. Trump's conduct was willfully and wantonly negligent, reckless, or done with the conscious disregard for the rights of Ms. Carroll, or was so reckless as to amount to such dis uh, disregard, yes, and that's $20,000. Um, did Ms. Carroll prove by a preponderance of the evidence that Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump's excuse me, a uh, statement was defamatory. Yes. So that's the defamation claim. And they found in favor of Eugene Carroll there. Uh, Mr. Trump made the statements with actual malice. Yes. Okay. That is clear. Trump always has actual malice or at least malice. But in this case, they found actual malice, which is the standard set by the Supreme Court uh, in their case back in 1963 or 64. I always get the, get the, uh, uh, you're wrong, but that's when the uh, actual malice standard was set by the Supreme Court. Whatever the year was, the uh, the malice is actual malice, which means you have to find the standard is actual malice, which means you have to find that they actually they didn't just make a mistake. They meant to defame the person. They had the intent 
and the malice, the actual malice to actually uh, dam damage the reputation of the person in question. So that's what actual malice means. It's a high standard. Um, did Ms. Carroll prove by a preponderance of the evidence that Ms. Carroll was injured as a result of Mr. Trump's publication of the uh, October 20, uh, October 12th, 2022 statement? Yes, and two mil $1 million for that part, um, and $1.7 million for any damage for reputation repair. repair. Okay, so that's another one. In making the statements, Mr. Trump acted maliciously, out of hatred or ill will, spite or wanton, reckless or willful disregard of the rights of another. Yes, and two hundred eighty thousand dollars for that. Okay, and I think these are the numbers of the jury. And that's it. Okay, that's the jury form. So I want to show you guys that this is what the jury basically fills out and gives to the judge, which is where the verdict is derived from. Okay, so these are unanimous decisions. All of them agreed to these. Okay, that's what that tells us. So this was no surprise for me. Like I said, in like I've been saying for the last like three, four videos that I made, since Lisa Bernbach testified and verified her claims by law and by the facts, there is no way that the jury, if they were going by the facts and the law, that they can side against Carol because the other side has to destroy the credibility of the witnesses presented by Carol. And they were not able to do that with Lisa Bernbach. Okay. The other witnesses you can d d uh, debate it. Okay, it was debatable, uh, but with Lisa Bernbach, it was not. That's why I made a video saying that she was the most reliable witness, and I'll link that over if you want to go check it out. You'll see that my prediction came through exactly as I said. You have to discredit the person, their character, or something that they've done, and make them look like somebody that the jury can't trust. Lisa Bernbach had a fire. Uh, at right after the attack happened, she had a phone call with Carol. It was essential. If Trump's side wanted to win, that they discredit Lisa Bernbach. They were not able to discredit Lisa Bernbach. That's why I've been saying for about a week now that if the jury follows the law, the facts and the law, that they have to rule against Trump. And that's exactly what they did. Because you have to discredit the most credible person that has testified for the other side. If you don't, you're going to lose. That's the general rule. And I know the laws, and that's how it's supposed to go. And the jury followed the law and the facts where they led them. And they led him to basically Trump being defeated and E. Jean Carroll winning. Okay. Now, as far as appeals go, uh, there was no uh, misconduct in the trial as far as what I've seen. And jury, ver jury verdicts are rarely overturned by appeals courts. As I always say, we have a jury system. So the appeals courts don't overturn a jury decision unless there's a clear misconduct, constitutional violations, judicial misconduct, or some other misconduct that's unacceptable. In those cases, a jury verdict may be overturned, but in this case, we had no such things. Of course, Trump's side will claim that the judge was biased, etc. It's not going to work, okay? He will most likely have to pay her the five million or something close to that by the end of all this. Even if he appeals the decision, he will lose, okay? And I'll report on that, of course, when that happens. Um, so what else do I want to say? Um, Lisa Birnbach covered that. Mm verdict form every i think we got everything we need okay um so yeah this, this was not that hard to predict if the only danger was that there was at least one juror in there or two jurors that were pro-trump and they were going to just rule in in favor of trump no matter what that apparently that didn't exist okay so credit to all the jurors and even if there was a trump voter in there they decided to do the right thing and follow the facts and the evidence okay so i think that's all i have to say um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, I said I do all that good stuff. For more accurate legal predictions and explanations of the law, make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell and you keep up with my work. And that's all I got to say for this video. See you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to keep current with the videos that I'm making. And if you have been watching for a long time and appreciate my content and the time that I put into these videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I post all the legal documents I use in my videos on Patreon for my patrons. I also post extra legal content when I don't have time to make videos on Patreon for my patrons. As a patron, you can also contact me directly on on Patreon to request a video or ask a question about a relevant topic. These are all privileges that I provide for my patron supporters. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a very nice day.